Hey guys, so another little project that I'm gonna try to tackle. Sorry for the car noise, the road just down there. Um, so I'm visiting my mother, and she I made for some time ago. She has one of those electric scooters, and some time ago I made a sort of a trailer hitch. Um, that she can use and um, pull behind her some, well, one of those garden carriages, okay, whatever, yeah, something like that. And this one is one of those that doesn't have a fixed axle, well, there are fixed axles, but a fixed hitch. You can see it's on quite a bit of an angle there. And this one has served a very good purpose for I don't know two or three years but they get beat up like crazy and as you can see <coughs> I've changed out some of these pins but these are just torn to they're torn right off both there you can see right there uh, further. and um, Sort of like that all the way around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try anyways, try and use my, uh, I have a crappy welder, it's a flux core welder. Uh, it's not really good for thin body or thin sheeting like this, but I'm going to try. And I'm going to change out these for some better, better uh, fastening points. And uh, we're going to see if we're going to get this done. So stay tuned, guys. It's kind of fun doing these things. Hey, guys. It's Sunday. And I did some work yesterday that I didn't film. Which uh, I regret because I wanted to make a film on it, of it. But anyways, what I'm doing is we have, or I should say, my mother has a um, couple of garden carriages and this back one is the first one and the green one is the second one but the metal is far better on the black one than on the green one both of them are in dire need of repair the green one is well I'm not gonna say totally lost but yeah anyways so what I did Yesterday was I welded this bracket and I did that with my crappy flux core welder and as you can see the weld is well yeah and uh, but it's holding it's turning nice it's holding and the next thing is I'm gonna take off the wheels I bought four new tires for it and uh, put them on I'm gonna take the handle off that one and put on here and I'm going to replace what I need to of these feather, whatever you want to call it, thingamajiggies. I wish I did film yesterday, but I had to go out for a short uh, and buy some parts for this. Amongst other things, the wheels or tires. But uh, when I got home, it was raining like nothing else. So, everything was just put on hold and I packed the welder inside and anywho but the weather is cloudy but there's a bit of sun behind there it was actually forecast nicer weather today but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get four wheels on this thing uh, take the handle off that one put it on that one and uh, let's see how it goes Two minutes with that, four new tires, plastic, three old tires off, four new tires on, spinning nicely. Now, I gotta get that cotter pin that's in there, gotta get that cotter pin off. 
and put it on in there. I got a bunch of new cutter pins yesterday, so that's no issue. Anyways, back at it. Ta-da! Half an hour yesterday. Five, well, 20 minutes today. That's prepping and, well, I don't, didn't count the two hour drive for the parts yesterday, but anyways, that's another matter. Read my blog, you can find the details on the chaos that was built on there. This is going in the, well, boneyard, and uh, I'm going to keep the tires, because I think they're somewhat salvageable, but uh, this is now working nicely. Anyways guys, that's a quick Sunday project. Um, now I'm just gonna tidy up and that's it. Now for the tiller project, no worries, that's still up for sale. The bikes, not sure I'm gonna do anything on them yet today because my back is killing me. Anyways, that's me saying thanks. Comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Thanks.